All the rumors are true, yeah. There's a rumor going round and round and round. Rumor has it. No more rules. Oh, oh, God, you you gotta do this. Fucking rules. Come on. Love Island is a game, and like any game, it has rules to follow. We gotta do the rules again. Let's talk about Love Island rules and what can get the contestants on the show, the Islanders, removed from the villa. Think back to 2019 and you'll remember OG Islander Sharif who was removed of the show very early on after breaking the villa rules. Um, yeah, and then I threw out a kick, she was coming towards me and my foot accidentally made contact with her groin. In order for the Islanders to maintain their place on the show and not risk being kicked out, the Islanders simply have to follow a set of rules given to them in the rule book. And you guys know my rules. Oh, oh, God, you you we gotta do this. fucking rules. Come on. We gotta do the rules. The again. Islanders must obey the rule book, which includes information about safe sex, consent, and how to know if the Islanders are following Love Island guidelines. And in this way, they can get out of trouble and enjoy the summer at their villa. Coming winter season, ITV released or introduced a new duty of care protocol requiring the Islanders to suspend content on their social media accounts in order to protect both the Islanders and their families from the negative effects of social media. My family away to Switzerland, come back and my house is broken into, so there's obviously oh, really? yeah, yeah, there's negatives to to it and benefits, but yeah, it's just hard to balance it to show people what they want to see. Being drunk is an absolute no-no, although the Islanders are allowed one small glass of wine or beer during the evening parties or with their dinners, Islanders aren't allowed to get drunk and are limited to a number of drinks. Like, sucked her tits or whatever. How about? Like, licked her tits or whatever. Islanders are allowed to be intimate with their partners, with consent of course, however, masturbation is not allowed under any circumstances in the Love Island Villa. Islanders are not allowed to be fully naked in front of other Islanders since the Love Island Villa is technically a public space. I dare you to go skinny dipping in the pool. Ah. So no inappropriate language or behaviour rule is at the discretion of the producers and this rule would include violence and sexual harassment. Are you going to tell me? Billy, just fuck off. No, like, just go away a minute. No. Stop. That is so rude. During the show, the Islanders are looked after by staff who are on set and any Islander that is rude to the crew may be kicked out of the show. Islanders must obey all instructions from the staff and must not remove their microphone packs unless they are instructed to do so. I wasn't allowed to pick who I actually generally wanted to go for at the start, which was Paige. There's, there's this moment, right, with Ekin and I, and I said to Ekin, I was, the producers finally gave me the green light saying you can move away from Ekin, you can finally go No for personal phones are allowed under any circumstances and anyone caught sneaking their own phones into the villa could be at risk of being removed. And you guys know my rules. Oh, 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 you we gotta do this. Fucking rules. Now that we know the rules, let's just hope that this season of Winter Love Island, the Islanders don't break any of these rules. And if they do, we know what's up. You guys know my rules. Hey you, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.